Undisputed Wrestling 4, live here tonight, Danny Jackpot, your host. And I present to you nine big matches here at the Undisputed Wrestling card. We got the Undisputed Champion in action. We got the North American Championship on the line. The Live Championship on the line. The we got the Tag Team Champions in action tonight. It's a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making his way to the ring from Bismarck, North Dakota. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Zack Steele. Zack Star making his way down the ring for his first ever match in Honest Beauty Wrestling, but this is not this is not his first appearance. We all seen last week Zack Star made a shocking debut, causing Nate Farron his matchup against Vincent Nicolo. Zack Star claims that Nate Farron is pondering his time here in Honest Beauty Wrestling, and Zack Star is going to use him as a stepping stone to the World Heavyweight Championship. Nate Farron begs to differ, the genuine ass kicker takes on the real star, Zack Star, here tonight, falls count anywhere at the request of both of these men. And I gotta just say right now, it's gonna be a little hard to be impartial, Zack Star is my cousin. That is not a fact, we are also all members of the bloodline. We do share the same blood. Zack Star, a former WWE Champion, WEDF United States Champion, Tag Team Champion, Cruiserweight Champion, Hardcore Champion. Zack Starr is a former New Day W World Heavyweight Champion. Nate Farron, on the other hand, is a former North American League Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, a former Wrestling Heaven Heavyweight Champion. Nate Farron has won championships in almost any promotion he has competed in. This match is going to be promising here on Speed of Wrestling 4. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 300 pounds, Nate Fenwick. The genuine ass ticker, Nate Farron, unfortunately on a losing streak here in Undisputed Wrestling, says that Zack Starr is not going to use him as a stepping stone. He's actually going to be the stone that he uses to turn over his career here in Undisputed Wrestling. The start not being what Nate Farron has wanted is going to be, well, Put to the test here right now. Will it continue or will it not? Nate, Zach Starr, Nate Farron, both former World Heavyweight Champions and organizations in CAW, as I've mentioned. This match is a huge start to Honest Feeder Wrestling 4. Nate Farron, as I've mentioned, lost last week thanks to Zack Starr off a distraction to Vincent Nicolo. We'll see Vincent Nicolo challenge for the live championship, a belt that Nick Gemini just won last week in a triple threat match. And Nate Farron, Zack Starr going for a fight right off the way in this Falls Count Anywhere matchup. No disqualification, no count The only way to beat your opponent is to pin him, on the, pin him for one, two, three, or make him say, I give up, or tap him out. We're gonna knock the man out too. Referee taken out right away. That's the kind of dangerous things that can happen in this Falls Count Anywhere matchup. And I'd like to apologize for the small hiatus we had to be in. Everyone, I will just say flat out, our, my health was not good enough. We could not get someone to commentate the show. We had to call it off until tonight. Nate Farron with a one count right there. Nate Farron, Zach Starr held an opening contest here on Street Wrestling 4. Both men. Definitely uh, different, different techniques by both men, as one is a almost a whole foot smaller than the other man. Nate Farron stands at six foot nine. Zack Star only stands at five foot eleven. Nate Farron definitely has the advantage over Zack Star in this opening part of this contest. Balls count anywhere, as I've mentioned. No count out, no disqualification. We don't know if that's going to come into play, but I think it will with both these men requesting this. Oh, and a version of the gory special right here. Just stretching out Zack Star. Zack Star had to fight out of that. But Nate Ferry knocks him right down once again. Mount him and just starts punching him. And Nate Ferry, remembering last week, Zack Star cost him probably a first year victory and possibly a live championship match. Oh, missing the spinning clothesline. Nate Ferry picks up Zack Star. Drives him down the ring mat. Big move right there. This very well could be it. This match has been all day. Barrett only gets two. 
by Nate Barron. Barron tosses Zack Star to the outside of the ring. I've already said these balls count anywhere in this matchup. I'd like to hear some predictions in the chat on who you guys think is going to win this matchup and every match here tonight. If you're not watching on twitch.tv slash dannyjack.caw, you should be! The bicycle kick by Nate Barron! This has got to be it! This has got to be it! And Zack Star somehow kicks out! Oh my god, Star somehow kicks out! Nate Barron can't believe it! He even argues with the referee for a few seconds, but then he continues on with these punches. Barron looking good against Star right now. See a prediction for Star in the chat. Hey, Barron looking to stretch out Zach Star some more right now. Zach Star in a bad way. Somehow gets out of it once again. Star now with an Irish whip. Hey, Barron off on the turnbuckle. He eat that turnbuckle. But Barron once again using that power advantage. Gonna push Zack Star away, but Zack Star using some technique. Big death belly slam right there. Only gets one. As you can see, Nate Barry is so strong. Zack Star can barely hold him up. Zack Star just threw him down with whatever he can throw him down with. Zack Star has Nate Barry down. He starts taunting. I didn't teach my cousin this. I didn't teach him to do that. When you have a guy like Nate Barry down, you need to capitalize, Zack. Zack Star tosses Nate Barron to the outside of the ring. Zack Star, as I mentioned, there's no count outs. The referee's going to go follow them. Brave referee. Zack Star has a cover on the outside of the ring. He can win the match right here. Oh, no. I don't think a kick to the spine is going to end Nate Barron. I'm going to tell you that right now. And Nate Barron just tossing Zack Star out down to the ring mats. Nate Barron, oh, it goes for some kind of giant move right there. Zack Star ducks. Nails a big back kick. And now Nate Barron nailing some giant forearms. Oh, but misses one. And Zack Star pushes him right into the, right into the, the, the LED board on that steel, steel ring post. Nate Barron's in a bad way right now, I believe. He ate that LED board hard. Zack Star with a giant spinning clothesline, but it doesn't knock down Nate Barron. Zack Star with a jawbreaker. Zack Star with a giant kick. It does knock down Nate Barron. He goes for an immediate cover. Zack Star only gets two. He can't believe it. Zack Star knows now the situation he's in. He's, he's facing off against a pissed off Nate Barron. He has him hurt. He needs to try to end this match quickly. Zack Star going for a neckbreaker. Does so. Nails it. Zack Star now, working over the arm. He has Nate Barron down. Oh, wrenching that whole arm out. Zack Star, stomping on the arm now. Nate Barron is down. Zack Star continues to stomp on those arms. Nate Barron smartly rolls out of the ring. Gets back in the ring now. Just, just, just ports a kick of Zack Star right off. Zack Star, though. Oh, that cross arm breaker out of nowhere! And again, Zack Star's been working over that arm of Nate Barron, and Nate Barron powers out of it. Oh! Oh my god! With just two straight shots to the face of Zack Star, Nate Barron powers himself out of that cross arm breaker. And again, Nate Barron utilizes that choke slam. Very smart of Zack Star to actually go work the arm over. Nate Barron once again misses a kick. Zack Star once again nailing that big back kick. Giant clothesline by Star. Goes for a cover. Referee's out of place. Nate Barron picks out at one. Zack Star can't believe it. Nate Barron back up to his feet. Zack Star wants to pay attention. Oh, and he's a giant backbreaker. Runs into the backbreaker. And Nate Barron, he was too busy complaining. He was too busy complaining to the referee. Nate Barron now has the advantage over Zack Star in this matchup. Picking up Zack Star. The bicycle kick once again by Nate Barron. The bicycle kick. Nate Barron. Oh my God. One, two. Barron picks up his first win in non-disputed wrestling. Big win for Nate Barron.
Sphere Wrestling start. Nate Ferrer picks up a huge win over a very game Dag Star and a false count anywhere's match. Here is your winner, Nate Fenwick. The losing streak is over. Nate Ferrer picks up a huge win over a very game Zack Star, as I've mentioned. You can't take anything away from Zack Star, but one fall. And he's for the heavyweight championship. The live heavyweight championship. The Honest Beauty Wrestling Live Championship about to be defended here. Nick Gemini, the current live champion, taking on Vincent Nicolo, who is currently undefeated in Undisputed Wrestling. Vincent Nicolo picked up a huge win against Nate Farron last week. Even off of distraction by Zack Starr, he has picked up a huge win. He also defeated Incognito back on Undisputed Wrestling 2. Vincent Nicolo with two big wins has earned himself a live championship matchup against Nick Gemini here tonight. And you can see it, he is with a member of the, of the camp that he is, that his grandfather, Jimmy, the, the, the camp of wrestling students that his grandfather started, Jimmy. He has Pranvera with him, probably to counteract Denise Parkinson, Nick Gemini's girlfriend. We know will be in his corner tonight. Nicolo, Gemini, live championship match for Undisputed Wrestling. The only championship that's offended every single live show. And here he comes, the Space Cowboy himself, the MILF Hunter himself, the UW Live Champion, Nick Gemini. Nick Gemini defeated Marcus Matrix and Tyler King last week in a triple threat match to win the Live Championship. He says he doesn't plan on losing it here tonight. It's been announced that at Cobb Nation 3, Nick Gemini will be taking on a lady, a woman, an actual lady of sorts, and a Casket match, I believe. Call Vision 3, Chris Statlander, and Denise Parkinson will also compete that match on that show. I have to plug that. Honest Beauty Wrestling Live Championship on the line here. Introducing the challenger from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 295 pounds. Vincent Nicole! And I'm just saying, if Vincent can win tonight, what and a what a the champion this man would have in honest From wrestling. Every Man's Nightmare. Weighing in at 200 pounds. He is the... The MILF Hunter, Nick Gemini. And Nick Gemini hands the referee the live championship. Very well could be the very last time he holds on to that belt here tonight if he does not pick up a big win against Vincent Nicolo. The Space Cowboy, the Cannonball, the live championship, Undisputed Wrestling 4. The bell has rung. Oh, and Vincent right off the gate knocks down Gemini. Gemini, though, be Fighting back against Vincent. Oh, knocking him right to the outside of the ring. Denise Parkinson liking what she's seen on her boyfriend. And referee starting to count here. Unlike the last match, this will be a regular match. You will, you will be seeing a regular 10 count outside the ring. And a big back suplex by Vincent onto Nick Gemini. A live championship match here. Only the only other live champion to date, Tyler King's in action later tonight. He'll team up with Biff Andreas, the Sons of Liberty. Teaming together once again, riding together once again to take on the tag team of Egyptico, the Honest Beauty Wrestling Tag Team Champions, the Honest Beauty Tag Team Champions of CAW, Egyptico. And Vincent Nicolo is taking down Nick Gemini with ease right now. There's definitely a weight advantage between these two athletes, and you can definitely see it. I don't even got to explain it to you. You can see it between the two men. 
Oh, Gemini with a quick kick to the back of the back of the ear almost of Vincent. That was very pinpoint of Nick Gemini right there. Fans don't know who to cheer for in this matchup, I believe. It's kind of quiet here. They are on their feet for this live championship matchup, though. I hear a lot of boos for the Space Cowboy, the MILF Hunter. But when a man claims to be every every man's nightmare, I think you're gonna draw a bad reaction from some guys here. And I've seen a mostly male audience in the Honest Beauty Wrestling Live audience. And that doesn't surprise me whatsoever. Three big back forearms there. By Vincent, Nick Gemini right now is in a very bad way against Vincent. He is the current live champion, and I don't know how long that's gonna last for. Vincent going to the top rope for the live championship. The cannonball, oh my God, nails the giant axe handle. Big move by Vincent, live championship, and now he's just stomping on the rib cage of Gemini. Nick Gemini now is in a very bad way against Vincent Nicolo here. Vincent stomping away Gemini here. And he has the fan support now as the fans count with him. There are six giant stomps. And I don't think he liked that fan support because he just stopped stomping. I think once he heard them coming along, he just stopped stomping. Gemini able to reverse Vincent there. And Gemini now shades of Kelly Kelly with that giant head scissors. And a giant spear by Nick Gemini. It actually won him the match against Cage on GW2 in that Meeks Tag Team matchup. Gemini with the cover only gets one. And he's probably just saying, stay on your man, stay on your man. Vincent though able to reverse whatever Gemini had planned now. And, and his punches him right in the forehead. Referee, you gotta make sure Vincent opens up that hand. I believe those are some close fist shots by Vincent Nicolo on the Gemini here. And this time Vincent just stomping in, in the rib cage chest of Nick Gemini. And this is a giant kick once again. Seems to be the so area of Gemini is his focus here tonight. Gemini now, three giant shots. I see, I see we got some fan support in the twitch.tv slash Danny Jack plus CAW chat room for Vincent right now. Gemini though, throws Vincent to the outside of the ring. Gemini, I don't know what's he got planned here. His girlfriend's watching, oh my God, Gemini's in the ropes. That's amazing, that's amazing. Tornado DET through the ropes, and you're gonna like the Gemini, but that was impressive. And somehow, though, Vincent able to fight off Gemini still after a giant move like that. That goes to show just the, just the size advantage between these two men. Oh, a sidewalk slam right in front of his girlfriend. Vincent needs to get Gemini back in the ring. He can't win the he cannot win the championship via count out. He has to win the match via pinball or submission. Vincent now, I think he has to the referee's counts at eight. Smartly rolling back outside the ring, breaking that count will, will make the referee force the referee and restart the count. He visits telling me that right now at ring time, making sure I tell you guys how smart move that was by him. Maybe you should be paying attention to the match though, Vincent, as Nick Gemini tosses him right down to the outside. Gemini now telling the referee to count quicker. Five. Gemini, I think, wants to win this match by count out. Sees that's not gonna happen. Whoa. Goes right back to Vincent on the outside. Oh, and just hits him right against the steel steps. Two. Gemini now has Vincent in a bad way. And don't forget, you might as well use the ringside area as a friend, as a tag team partner. Because it's all legal in any kind of match when the referee's coming to 10 on the outside. He's too focused on coming to 10. He can't break up you tossing a man in the steel steps or into a ring post. He can sure yell at you about it, but he can't do anything about it. Gemini now has Vincent on the outside of the ring once again. Gemini this time actually goes to the outside of the ring. And Gemini now telling Vincent something, and I can't make it too far away from me. Our cameras didn't catch it. 
the Space Cowboy that Milf Hunter had something nasty to say to Vincent though. Three, and Gemini now, he just he soaks in the fans' hate. Oh, but he just eats steel ring stuff thanks to Vincent. Six, I'm surprised Pranvera is not a distraction for him. Gemini returns the favor, makes Vincent now eat ring steps. The referee's count getting back up there. He makes Vincent eat ring steps once again. Stomping away now at the man. I don't think Gemini cares about winning this match anymore. And Vincent close line Gemini down, but we got a double count out. And that match ends on a double count out. Gemini will retain on a double count out. I'm sorry guys, we gotta continue on with the show. We got a mixed tag team match. I would like to see uh a rematch but with that match maybe next week. Maybe maybe some kind of like special special kind of like occasion. Maybe a mixed tag team match with the live championship on the line between all four of those. I think that sounds cool. I agree, the AI stupidity also kills me. That was fucking bad. I'm hoping that doesn't happen in this mixed tag team match, honestly. You know, some of those overalls after I set them, like, it resets and it pisses me off. Okay, I have no way. I'm not going to go edit everyone's edit overalls again. That's like two or three overalls that says fucked up already. I think I noticed it last week, too. I didn't edit them. Big, t big mixed tag team match up here. I love the mixed tag team action that we're getting in Honest Beauty Wrestling. I love the women's roster. I love the male roster. Got some cool stuff happening here in Honest Beauty Wrestling, in my opinion. Cage, Monica Scar, Connor James, Sasha Black Rose. There's the rumors of the mixed tag team championship if you guys follow Honest Beauty Wrestling on Twitter. So happy for Nate Farron picking up that big win earlier. That was good for Nate Farron. Get the like what I think six foot eleven, seven foot old cage against Connor James. Oh Connor, I don't know if I edited your uh two K twenty call yet. I just realized to have the pants. I might have. To, I, I'm sorry if I didn't, Connor. By the way, I'll, I'll edit that after the show if I didn't. I think I did the 2K16 one, but I don't think I did the 2K21. Fuck. Now, don't forget, this is a mixed tag team match. We could have the very same results that we just had in the last one, but I'm going to try to make sure that doesn't happen. Undisputed Wrestling 4 continues with makes tag team action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from New York, Montana, Sawyer. Monica Scar and Cage, we've seen these two team up before in Undisputed Wrestling in a losing effort on Undisputed Wrestling 2. These two look to team up once again against the the relationship now of Connor James and Sasha Blackrose. It is confirmed that these two are dating. These two are an item. These two are now even teaming together tonight. A relationship outside the ring, inside the ring, Connor James, Sasha Blackrose. Monica Scar and Cage, I still know the relationship between those two. I just believe they skateboard on their in their spare time. And to recap everything that's happened so far, we've had 
I, we had the live championship match go to a double count out. We had Nate Farron pick up his first win against Zack Starr. And now we got this mixed tag team and match coming to you. From your darkest fears, weighing in at 345 pounds, Candyman. Here comes Cage. Cage, in his own right, is a former New WWE United States Champion. He has not been on the path of success here in Honest Feeder Wrestling. He is actually yet to pick up a win. It is bothering Cage. Cage would like to be, would like to change that here tonight. Not everyone can be on the winning ways, but Cage knows what it's like to be on the losing ways a lot. And he's admitted that over his life. Cage no longer wants to be on those losing ways. He has the fan support like no other. I will admit that. Cage definitely has the fans behind him more than he's ever had in his entire career. Now he just needs to get that momentum. He just needs to get that series of wins. He needs to pick up that, have that big moment in his career. And from New York, Sarah Babos. On his feud wrestling three, We've seen a women's championship tournament with eight of the finest women here in Undisputed Wrestling. Sasha Black Rose actually cheated against Tammy in the first round, attacking Tammy during her entrance. Was able to defeat Tammy, the XGWL legend. She was on victorious in her second match, though, when she would fall, when she would fall victim to the current women's champion, Gail Anderson, losing to the Anderson driver in quick fashion. Sasha Black Rose claimed an ankle injury last week, which was the reason why she lost so quickly to Gail Anderson. And if she ever were to get that match again with Gail, she would be the new women's champion. And here comes Sasha Rose's partner, not just in the ring, but in life right now, Connor James, the diabolical one. And this man is definitely not safe for work. Connor James, the uncensored one, the diabolical one. Connor James. Definitely not going to be safe for work having his and girlfriend in the ring with him. From New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, Connor James. Connor James, Sasha Black Rose. As I mentioned, a couple now. We'll be seeing them for the first time in action tonight. This is Mixed Wrestling, the, the second ever Mixed Tag Team matchup in Undisputed Wrestling. Cage and Monica Scar were in the very first one, unsuccessful. Hoping to become victorious here in the second one. And I am being told by management that next week for the live championship and a very first ever for Undisputed Wrestling, a mixed tag team matchup between Nick Gemini and his girlfriend Denise Parkinson against Vincent Nicolo and Pranbera Bagali, where the winning team's male will win the live championship and the female for that team will win herself a shot at the women's championship in the future. Big match announced here on Disputed Wrestling makes tag team matches mean a lot, just like every single match here on Disputed Wrestling. Covered by Sasha Black Rose right away, only gets one. Man, this match started off with some action quickly. Sasha Black Rose would definitely have the experience over Monica Scar. A lot of experience over Monica Scar. And it's in a show here in this matchup, I hate to say it. And I gotta just say, Connor James looking extra ripped here tonight. That man's been lifting weights, I gotta say. Good for Connor James. I know having a good, a good girl will do that in your life. Oh, Cage get in the ring and kick it, Connor right away. Don't forget when the when the ladies tag out, there's only one tag that needs to be made because the men can only wrestle the men, the women can only wrestle the women here in undisputed wrestling. Cage, the much bigger man over Connor James, seems to be.
be the story of the males tonight. Big size advantages. And don't forget, it worked for Nate Fair and didn't work for, didn't work for Vincent. Vincent didn't lose either. He was the last man standing, he would even tell you, I'm sure. Cage knocks down Connor James. Connor James having to regroup on the apron. And Cage not giving him the opportunity to do so. Cage, oh my god, what's he got planned here? Oh! Damn! Oh my god, damn! What? What? How is Connor James even standing after that? What? Oh my god, and Connor James, huge knee, and Cage goes flying onto the announce table. What action here? And, and this opening punch, this contest, and this makes tag team matchup. And these males, Cage and Connor James, have been talking a lot of a lot of a lot of shit backstage. Huge my language right there. But they have been talking a lot, a lot of smack backstage and it's showing here tonight. Ladies now, back being, being the legal participants in this matchup, Monica Scar, Sasha Blackrose. I'm a little breathless after what I just seen between the males right there. Monica Scar, big head scissors to Sasha Blackrose, impressive. Monica Scar, almost a rookie here in CAW compared to Sasha Blackrose, who has a lot of experience competing all over the CAW spectrum. Oh, and a big, big, big DDT by Sasha Blackrose. Knocks down Monica Scar's face. Sasha Blackrose mentioned about adding another scar onto the face of Monica. <laughs> both men going for moves, both men missing those moves. Connor James nails a snap here. Oh, and a giant punch to the temple by Connor James. That's diabolical. That is diabolical. A punch right to the temple. That's just, that's demented, Connor James. That's demented. Connor James tags in Sasha Blackrose. Connor James, Sasha Blackrose, the two legal participants in this matchup. They got something big planned here. Irish woke women, both opponents. Wait a second. Oh, a double spear! Wow, what a move right there by Connor James and Sasha Blackrose. Sasha Blackrose now picks up Monica Scar. Oh, and just tosses her right. Throw it across the ring rope. Maybe face across the ring rope. She threatened to scar Monica Scar's face even worse than it already is. Monica Scar is in a very bad way now. Sasha Blackrose, this has got to be it. Monica Scar, it's got to be it. Cage trying to get in to break it up, but it was too late. After a big double team tag team spear on both opponents, you can see Sasha Blackrose in the replays just destroy, just destroy Here Monica Scar. Connor James, Sasha Blackrose victorious in this makes tag team matchup. The dynamic dominant duo here tonight in Honest Food Wrestling. It's true, it's Honest Food Wrestling 4 continues. Women's Battle Royal, the crown A number one contender to Gail Anderson's championship. is a six woman battle royal making her way to the ring from Texas. The bombshell, Sarah Pick. Reed. Here comes the Southern Belle, Chanel Nelson, everybody. Her friends call her Nell now. She is the Southern Belle, and she is definitely a woman that you don't want to be on the bad side of her. Look, just look at her. You, you can just tell her that woman would, would, is, is not a sweet Southern Belle. Making her Honest Food Wrestling debut. We know that she is a former women's champion in North American Elite Wrestling.
Actually, I think I'm wrong on that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take back what I just said. She is not a former Divas champion anywhere. Chanel Nelson hasn't won any championships. I, I've getting yelled at in the microphone right now that I'm totally wrong. I'm sorry, everybody. Got, I, I got some people watching me when I make, when I make total wrong accusations like that. I guess. As we're gonna see Kabuki make her way down the ring, and her undisputed wrestling debut. And her opponents, first, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Carrie. And I don't know if our ring announcer is wrong there, but I'm pretty sure this woman is not from Canada. Kabuki making her honest beauty wrestling debut here tonight. One of three ladies in this match making their undisputed wrestling debut, having a big chance. If you could win in your debut, you go on to have a women's championship match. I mean, that's a big, big, big opportunity that all six of these women have that chance to get right now. Only three women making their debut, but all six women have that exact chance to compete for the women's championship next week. You just got to win a big match here tonight. Over the top rope rules, battle royal. First lady or last lady standing in the ring will be the number one contender to Gail Anderson's Women's Championship. Gail Anderson won the Women's Championship, defeating three ladies last week at UW3. Tournament style. And, and from San Diego, California, Tammy. And one of those ladies in this tournament, or in that tournament, was the XGWL legend, the Queen Bee, Tammy, who some would say was the only lady in that tournament did not get the right fearful shot that all other women did when she was attacked during her entrance, which I can say right now is the first time in Undisputed Wrestling that she's making her full entrance here for Undisputed Wrestling. Tammy was attacked last week by Sasha Blackrose, which cost her the match Probably, can't say for sure, but definitely, definitely resulted in the outcome after that, after that attack. We won't know if Sasha could have beat Tammy one-on-one, -on -one, straight up. Sasha was just victorious in the makes tag team match we just seen, though. Sasha can back up what she says when she's taking on a rookie. Tammy, the XGWL legend, though, is a different story. And from Providence, Rhode Island, Lauren. Here comes a member of the Wicked Syndicate, Lilith. Now Lilith, I do know, is a former Divas Champion in North American Elite Wrestling. She also competes in so many CAW organizations that if I tried to list them all, I just would not be able to do so. So I'll just tell you some details about Lilith. That her partner, Spring Tigress, is here in CAW. They make up the, or here in Honest Beauty Wrestling, they make up the Wicked Syndicate. I believe that she and Rachel Cross are Working on a their friendship, the former Vengeful Vixens, looking to all become a group. I've heard Rachel Cross, Lilith, and Spring Tigress. Maybe looking to make that syndicate a little bit bigger. Lilith making having having her first singles match here in Undisputed Wrestling. And her debut in Undisputed Wrestling won. She lost a six-man tag team match, or six-women's tag team match. And I believe making her way down the ring right now, or about to make her way down the ring, is one of the most charismatic women here and on the Undisputed Wrestling from roster. from Northridge, California, the Queen, Shane. Chantel Queen, everybody. She is loud and proud, and she is not afraid to admit it. Chantel Queen backs up everything that she can and says that she will. And as and what, you know what she says she will do? She says she'll just have fun. And look at this woman. She likes to have fun. The fans are on their feet. They like to dance along with Chantel Queen. Chantel Queen, a woman who can get the, the fans on their feet almost more than any other woman on this roster. When you know Chantel Queen's coming down the ring, you know you have a good time coming. Chantel Queen making her honest beauty wrestling debut here tonight. 
definitely familiar here in the CAW world and, and definitely familiar with these fans. These fans know what they're getting when they get Chantel Queen. And the last lady coming out, Alexandria Marie. Another former and AEW from Los champion. Angeles, California, Alexia Marie. Also the very first ever women's champion. Alexandria Marie lost to Gail Anderson in the very first round of the Honest Beauty Wrestling Women's Championship Tournament at UW3. Alexandria Marie holding a record of 1-1 one one right now in Honest Beauty Wrestling. Alexandria Marie, the sixth lady, making her way down the ring for this battle royal. The winner of this match will take on Gail Anderson for the Women's Championship at UW5. A lot of ramifications in this matchup. And here we go, the bell has rung. Alexandria Marie and Lilith looking at each other in one corner. Kabuki and Chantel Queen working over each other. Now Tammy and Kabuki working over each other as Chanel Nelson, the Southern Belle, and Chantel Queen now locking up. Tammy trying to toss out Kabuki right away, and Kabuki's so colorful that, whoa, out of nowhere, Lilith just got tossed out by Alexandria Marie. Out of nowhere, Alexandria Marie just tossed out Lilith, and that shocks me because Lilith's a powerhouse. That shocks me, Lilith's a powerhouse. Lilith losing here in quick fashion this battle royal. And Chantel Queen now very smartly getting a break. And Kabuki trying to toss Chantel Queen out. And I don't think that's going to work for Kabuki. Much smaller than Chantel Queen. Tammy now grabbing Kabuki. Alexander Marie now trying to toss out Chanel Nelson. Alexander Marie already has one elimination in this battle royal. Big German suplex by. Tammy on to Kabuki. Chanel Nelson able to fight her way back into the ring. Unlike Lilith. And maybe Lilith just, I didn't see what happened to Lilith. Maybe she just, went, just didn't grab the rope in time. And Tammy tosses out Kabuki. And I can see the fans were not happy there. The chat even a little unhappy about Kabuki. That seemed to be a chat, the chat's favorite right there, I think. Four ladies left in this battle. Royal determined the number one contender for Gail Anderson's Women's Championship. Tammy, Chantel, Queen, Alexandria, Marie, and Chanel Nelson. Oh, Chanel Nelson tries to close line, or Alexandria Marie tried to close line Chanel Nelson, but Chanel Nelson actually ducked. Alexandria Marie actually ate the ropes there. That looked nasty. Got a little too much steam on her, uh, too much steam behind her. Chantel Queen with some elbows on that Tammy. I don't know what Tammy was trying to go for there. They're trying to toss her out, but it didn't work. And I think Chanel Nelson was trying to toss out. Alexandria Marie by her hair, but Alexandria Marie was able to just like throw her weight down, able to stop her from going over the top rope. Very smart. And some would say Chantel Queen would have an advantage in this matchup. The biggest lady, you would think maybe they would tag team her. And Tammy now going to the top rope. Some would say not the smartest move in this battle royal. It pays off greatly though for Tammy. She nails a hell of a drop kick and then a big moonsault on a Chantel Queen. And Tammy! Tries to toss out Chantel Queen on her own, but it just doesn't work. And again, Chantel Queen's a big lady. Oh, and a big STO-like maneuver by Tammy on a Chantel Queen. Oh, and Chantel Queen using her power still. And Tammy taking her focus off Chantel Queen. Alexander Marie, though, catching Tammy with a giant crucifix driver. Manhattan drop once by Chantel Queen. A uh, yeah, twice by Chantel Queen on Chanel Nelson. Chanel Nelson now kind of kicked the thigh out. I don't know how much damage that Manhattan drops were doing. Still got to hurt the spine somewhat. I don't know, maybe Chanel Nelson was able to block it. Chanel Nelson now, the Southern Bell trying to toss out Chantel Queen. Chantel Queen somehow able to hold on though. Tammy now also in danger of being tossed out by Alexandria Marie. And Tammy. Somehow able to hang on, and Chanel Nelson is just tossed out Chantel Queen, and now she's trying to toss out Tammy with Alexander Marie, and Tammy trying to fight on here. That was a 
huge elimination by Chanel Nelson, Chantel Queen. Can't believe it. The fans are even a little let down, but they're still on their feet for this battle royal. Who's going to become the number one contender for the Women's Championship? It's either going to be Alexander Marie, Chanel Nelson, or Tammy. And Tammy now working over Chanel Nelson. Trying to get her out of the ring. Alexander Marie looks to help out. Chanel Nelson's been tossed up by both blondes. Alexander Marie or Tammy. One of these two ladies are going to win this matchup. Alexander Marie with two big eliminations. Or maybe one and a half. Oh my god, that was a giant, giant pack, small package DDT. Suplex DDT by Tammy. I don't know why Alexander Marie's back on her feet after that. Alexander Marie. Tammy. Two ladies left in this matchup. Tammy just held on to the ropes, so Alexander Marie using her own momentum right there and tossed it to force her right back. Tammy though. The XGWL Queen B. And could you imagine if Tammy eliminates? Oh my god, and she does! It's official, Tammy is gonna take on Gail Anderson. The girlfriend of Extreme Tony is gonna take on the sister of Robert Master Monaco. Our main event here tonight is gonna be the Women's Championship match next week. Wow! And you gotta give Here Alexander Marie winner, credit in that match. Because Alexander Marie did look impressive, but Tammy, with a big win here, has just became the number one contender for the Women's Championship in Undisputed Wrestling. Tammy Gail Anderson, Women's Championship, Undisputed Wrestling 5. Undisputed Wrestling 4 continues. The Brick House, Chris Snyder making his way down to the ring. He's going to be taking on Undisputed Wrestling's resident superhero, Incognito, here tonight. And Chris Snyder is looking The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Birmingham, Alabama. Weighing in at 265 pounds, Chris Snyder. Chris Snyder making his way down the ring. The man had a chance to become the North American champion at UW2. Was unsuccessful. The man was in a battle royal at UW at UW3. Unsuccessful. It is bothering the man. It is eating up at the man. This man he hates to eat eat, eat losses like he eats to hate like, like he hates to eat carbs he says. The brick house, Chris Snyder, incognito, and he says that he's not a super villain because he doesn't believe in that comic book bullshit. Excuse my language, that's just a quote from Chris Snyder. Incognito. He's going to have a tough mountain to climb in this man, the brick house, Chris Snyder. As Chris Snyder knows the camera's on him and just taking all the time in the world right now. And that's the kind of man this guy is. Chris Snyder. He knows what he has and he knows what he can do in the ring. The problem is sometimes his own head gets the best of him, I would say. And sometimes his own attitude sometimes might cost him matches and cost him spots. Because sometimes Chris Snyder, as you can see, losses don't always come a little easier to Snyder than most big men. And I think it's because of his attitude. As you can see, the fans absolutely love it. From you know. Main Street, USA, weighing in at 210 pounds, the super athlete. I need a hero to save me now. Incognito making his way down the ring as the fans absolutely love Incognito. The last time we seen Incognito was not at loss to Vincent Nicolo at UW2. And wow, bravely running by the brick house right there. I don't even think Chris Nana realized that Incognito was coming by him. 
as you can see, he is our resident superhero. He is incognito. And this man might need to go into incognito after, after tonight. Because again, Chris Snyder is a hell of an athlete. Incognito, Chris Snyder, I believe for the very first time wrestling each other here. And if this isn't the first time, then man, I feel bad for Incognito because look at the angry eyes of Snyder right now. He is just staring a hole in Incognito. The bell has rung. Incognito running right at Snyder though. He's gonna have to use his quickness taking down Snyder right away. Neck breaker. Incognito, a former ITF television champion, a former ITF tag team champion. Don't let Incognito fool you. Incognito is for real when it comes to the in the ring. Oh, and Chris Snyder just knocks him down with a huge clothesline. Chris Snyder now, oh, the huge back senton, crushing Incognito. And, and that 50 pound weight difference is all muscle, as you can see between these two men. Uh, 50 pounds of muscle difference. Look at that, the knee almost hurt Incognito to run that knee into Chris Snyder. It almost hurt Incognito's knee to run that into Chris Snyder. Snyder now, big uppercut knocking down Incognito. Incognito now in a bad way with Snyder here. Snyder picking him right back up as, as Incognito was just getting up and powering him right back down, overhead slam. And Incognito looking bad as the fans are just quietly stunned right now. At the match we have, that match we have both, these, these, both, these matches have been signed by both men. Incognito knew he was getting into. He knows a win tonight could possibly get him into a title match situation because it would shock the world. Chris Snyder, though, isn't expecting no shocks, and he doesn't want no shocks. Trust me, Cognito, though, fighting back. Incognito now. Oh, my God. Maya just pissed off the brick house. Big power slam. Shades of Road Warrior Animal. Chris, Chris Snyder now tosses. And as the ropes pop up, power bomb by Snyder. Goes for the cover. One, two, three, and eight. And I think Snyder mercifully ended this one for Incognito. Mercifully ended this one for Incognito. And we're gonna see here in the replay, the pop-up power bomb, the, the, the devastating slam of Snyder after a few other big moves here by Snyder. Winner, the win. Chris Snyder. Chris Snyder picks up his first win here in Honest Beauty Wrestling and quick. Impressive fashion. Chris Snyder dominant over Incognito. Where will this lead for the Brick House next here in Undisputed Wrestling? Undisputed Wrestling 4 continues. Brave in death. El Noveno, Billy Bowers making their way down the ring right now for this tag team matchup. Alan Albano on the left, Billy Bowers on the right, the pain master, brave in death. Alan Albano, Billy Bowers taking on Joe Omega, the undisputed champion, and a, and a man that we don't know yet, Joe Omega. Did not want Honest Fear of Wrestling to choose his tag team partner for him when asked. He asked if he could choose his own partner. And we have not been told who his partner will be. Only a, only a man that Joe Omega can trust, he said. A man that Joe Omega knows for 100% he can trust against a tag team like Brave and Death, Alan Alvaro and Billy Bowers. It's interesting to see what Joe Omega, the Honest Fear champion, our Honest Fear champion, what what for a partner against these two fine athletes. These two men are former All-American, or former Tag Team Champions of North American League Wrestling. As speaking of North American League Wrestling, Joe Omega, a two-time North American League Wrestling Champion, a multiple-time champion, heavyweight champion in OPW, the mega champion currently there, actually. Joe Omega, also the Honest Feeder Wrestling World Champion. Right now, Joe Omega is on top of the CAW World. 
Joe Omega. Who will he have chosen as a partner for his for his partner in this match against Brave and Death? And I've heard there are serious ramifications for Brave and Death on the line. As if El Obedo's team can somehow pin Joe Omega here tonight, they could possibly be the number one contenders for the Undisputed Championship. El Novano, as you can see, staying in the ring. I think he wants to stare down Joe Omega. Joe Omega, as El Novano eventually leaves the ring, I see. I think he waited a second or two and thought about it. Couldn't they give the respect to our world champion, Joe Omega. As you can see, we've taken the arena down here for the end of the show on Street Wrestling 5 Live. Twitch.tv slash Danny Jackpot CAW. If you're watching on YouTube, you should be watching live with the join us on the chat. Join us live here on the chat. Joe Omega won the Undisputed Championship from Extreme. We defeated Extreme Tony to unify the Undisputed the, the, the New AW and NAEW Championships. That very same week, he had defeated TJ Nicholson to unify the new AEW World Championships. So that man, in one week, had won three heavyweight championships, unifying two. Joe Omega. And oh my God, he has chosen as a partner, Norm the Storm Daily. This man and him go way back. And I'm talking 2012 cost search. Joe Omega won it. Norm the Storm Daily took him under his wing. They were known as the anti aw Crusade. The Crusade is here. The Crusade is here. What? What are you kidding me? Norm the Storm Daily. The fans are on their feet. Norm the Storm is not even signed to Undisputed Wrestling. Are you kidding me? And Norm the Storm is just going crazy. The Storm. The Storm is here on Undisputed Wrestling. Can you feel it? I feel it. Norm the Storm. Does this mean he's officially signed with Undisputed Wrestling? Norm the Storm Daily, Joe Omega. Against Elmo Vano, Billy Bowers. Elmo Vano, Joe Omega starting this matchup. Elmo El Vano knocking down. Wait, I'm getting a note handed to me right now. It says that if Norm the Storm Daily and Joe Omega win this matchup, Norm the Storm Daily will be included into the industry? Would that mean a guaranteed contract? That would mean a guaranteed contract. A guaranteed contract for Norm the Storm Daily and Undisputed Wrestling, he would join the industry. Joe Omega, I guess leaving that one a secret until the last second. Joe Omega, Billy Bowers, two legal men in this matchup. Big opportunity for Billy Bowers taking on the Undisputed Champion of CAW, Joe Omega. The man who's gonna main event call Asian 3, Joe Omega. Big time drop by Joe Omega, Norma Storm Daily here. Norma Storm Daily looking great at former OPW everything. And I'm not even joking, at former New NAW everything. Norm the Storm Daily. This man is just, if you could, if you could just see all the belts he's won in his career all on at once, you would just see gold draping off that man. Just like Joe Omega. And both these men have so much to thank for each other. Known as the Crusade, could possibly be known as the industry now. El Novano, Joe Omega, the two legal men in this matchup. I just been wrestling four, and I'm excited. Danny Jackpot here calling the action. Joe Omega. Where's that tribute to the British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith here in Honest Food and Wrestling? Very fitting. Joe Omega loves his country. I don't know, Vano though, cutting off Joe Omega from a tag. And Joe Omega almost not allowing it. Joe Omega nails a suplex. The Honest Food Champion, Joe Omega. The Honest Food Champion, not only in Honest Food and Wrestling, it's the call in general, I gotta say. Very touching moment for Joe Omega, I think. At UW2 when he won the Honest Food Championship. Very hard fought week prior up to that for Joe Omega. Joe Omega, El Novena, the two legal men in this matchup now. I'm still, still sorry, not now. 
As Norm the Storm wants to tag, Joe Omega tags in Norm the Storm daily, and Norm the Storm is here and on his spirit wrestling. Oh, and now Valvano catches him with a giant DDT. Oh, cutting Norm the Storm daily off quickly. El Novano knew he'd come out like a house of fire. That's the veteran like instinct of El Novano. Wait a second, on the Dorm Daily tags in Joe Omega though. Omega now. Omega knocks down on the El Novano. Omega now. Going after Bowers, the Bower reverses. Bowers now has the honest Peter champion up for a suplex. Oh, a brain buster by Billy Bowers. Most of the cover on the honest Peter champion. Billy Bowers now too. Oh my god. I cover on the line of Spirit Champions and Bauer almost defeated him. Would that mean Billy Bowers would become the number one contender for the Honest Spirit Champion? I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Billy Bowers could be the number one contender if he defeats Joe Omega. Why wouldn't that mean that? If you defeat the world champion, why wouldn't it mean that? Going for a superplex is Billy Bowers, the pain master, bringing the pain. Tagging in his best friend in CAWL, no Fano. The ninth in Spanish, that means for those of you counting at home. Now no Vano, big back suplex, Joe Omega doing most of the work in this matchup. Now no Vano with a cover. Oh, and big two count, almost won the matchup. Almost won the matchup for his team with that back suplex. And that was a very deep two. Joe Omega barely got his shoulder off the canvas right there. Big tag team matchup here. With the Undisputed Champion and at any match, the Undisputed Champion is, and is a big match in Undisputed Wrestling. Big double team maneuver on Joe Omega. That's got to be it. One, two. Omega kicks out of that big double team like choke slam. Choke slam into a backbreaker on the knee with a double team. With a heck of a double team by Billy Bowers and El Novano. And just a Stan Hansen like Lariat right there by Billy Bowers. Just taking off Joe Omega's head. The Honest Peter Champion doing most of the fight in this matchup. I think Norman Storm Daly maybe was in the ring for a total of like 10 seconds so far. Billy Bowers. Big fat gut buster. Right on to Joe Omega right there. Going for the cover now. Two. And Norman Storm Daly had to break it up, I believe, or there would have been a heck would maybe would have been a three. We won't know because Norman Storm broke it up. All I gotta say is Brave and Death looking like the better tag team here. It's been a while since we've seen Norman Storm Daily and Joe Omega team up. And Billy Bowers, this man, I think the Pain Master likes to live up to his statement. We've seen a superplex. Oh my god, no. No, no. Oh my god. Trying to kill Joe Omega tonight. And Brave and Death are trying to lay out our honest take out the Honest Peter Champion. They want to be the Honest Peter Champion. They want to be the number one contenders for this belt. Oh, and a brain buster now on the outside of the ring. Brave and Death are just working over Joe Omega. Oh, and a giant bulldog. Joe Omega's face, his head's got to be killing him. Omega, Bowers, bull rush near the count. Nobody's count was at six. Seven, I believe. I can't, I can't. I wasn't paying attention to Rev. I was paying attention to the action. Just like the guys were. Almost lost track, just like me. Bowers going to the top rope against Joe Omega. I don't know how often I see Billy Bowers going to the top rope. Bowers, though, top rope, elbow drop, nails it. Beautiful elbow drop by Bowers, actually. And Bowers gets a three. No, he only gets a two. I thought he just pinned the world champion, Joe Omega. Big top rope, elbow drop. Joe Omega is just fighting back against Billy Bowers, though. And Omega, Bowers out of that move. Bowers, though. Taking it to Omega. Omega, a big man though, too. A man I've just seen grow and grow in size over the years. Growing and growing in talent, too. As Joe Omega, Joe Omega, oh my god. Double choke slam. Taking down Billy Bowers. Omega, it's only a two count, though. Omega now. Snap Mary, Billy Bowers down the ring mat. As Norma Storm and Elmo Vail being told to get all of the ring by the referee. Omega working over Bowers in the inside of the ring. Slamming his face right into the ring canvas. 
Joe Omega now has Bowers in a bad way. And his back's got to be killing him. You can see Omega holding his back there. Omega now on the suplex. Omega could desperately use a tag here. But Norma Storm and Elmo Vino fight on the outside of the ring. Omega goes for a cover, only gets a light two count, referee says. Norma Storm back on the apron. Joe Omega, big, big shot then. Billy Bowers, another big shot, knocks him the outside of the ring. Joe Omega, I believe, is going to make this tag, but no, Elmo Vano knocks, Elmo Vano knocks Storm the Storm Daily down right before he was about to make the tag. Right before he was about to make the tag, Elmo Vano took down Norm the Storm Daily, which leaves Joe Omega still in this matchup. Very smart tag team move by Raven Death. You might not like it, but it's working out to their advantage here. Billy Bowers, the big gut buster, goes for the cover on Omega. One, two, three, and oh my god, Bowers pins Omega. Bowers pins Omega. Bowers pins Omega here tonight. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. Raven Death, they took. As soon as Omega was about to make the tag, Elmo Vano knocked down Norm the Storm Daily. As soon as Omega was about to make the tag. And Joe Omega trying to take on Raven Death almost in this match two on one by himself. And look at this tag team move. I thought that was it. As you can see right here. The gut buster once again by Billy Bowers. His finishing move, that reigning, that, that painful knee, that black knee. We've seen him win championships with that. Billy Bowers, Elmo Vano. Billy Bowers just pinned the world champion. Raven Detch defeated Norma Storm Daly and Joe Omega here tonight. UW4 continues, and we have three debuts about to happen. Luis Valander making his way down the ring. Luis Valander, the brother of Mike Valander. Luis Valander, I've been waiting for this debut for a long time. And I gotta say, he's not like his brother at all. He actually looks like he dresses normally. Has some style in class. Luis Valander looks like he might have it together. I gotta give him that. Give him credit. Luis Valander here. I mean, we know Crazy Mike Valander sometimes. We call him Crazy Mike Valander for a reason, man. Think he's a Viking because he's from Minnesota. Mike Valander's a hell of an athlete, though, and I'm sure his brother is too. As here comes Dr. Payne making his debut. Dr. Payne. He has a prescription for you, and it's for pain. <laughs> That's the only one I'm sure I have for him. Uh, you got a diagnosis for you. You're gonna, it's gonna be pain. <laughs> Dr. Payne making his debut here in Undisputed Wrestling. I'm just gonna let you all know right now that this man got a job because of Biff Andreas. <laughs> yes. Yes, Dr. Payne got his job in the audience of wrestling. This is Biff Andreas. Biff Andreas spots the talent in this man. And I'm sure if Biff Andreas spots the talent in Dr. Payne, it's there. Not trying to discredit Dr. Payne. I just was laughing because he's wearing the face mask. I don't think he realizes that he's wearing the face mask still. As you can see, even though the CDC says we shouldn't be wearing our face mask backstage, we still do. Dr. Payne also actually is a you know, licensed doctor. Yeah. Daniel Morgan making his way down the ring, making his Undisputed Wrestling debut. And let me tell you about Daniel Morgan. He's a former ITF heavyweight champion. He's a former ITF tag team champion. Daniel Morgan. This man is a former boxer turned wrestler. I've known Daniel Morgan for the better part of nine to ten years. 
we discovered this man in an offline league called CBW. This man was dominating there. Daniel Morgan, a former boxer turned wrestler, Daniel Morgan. He says before he watched wrestling, he actually wanted, to be, before, he became, before he became a boxer, he got his inspiration watching Kimbo Slice matches. Yes, the Kimbo, the great Kimbo Slice fights on, on, on those street fights. That's where he wanted, that's when he decided to become a real boxer though. Daniel Morgan, blue, blue trunks, Dr. Payne wearing the face mask, Louis Valander, longer blue, light blue turquoise tights. You see Daniel Morgan still dressed like a boxer. No disqualification in a triple threat match. Daniel Morgan also, like I said, watch Kimbo Slice growing up. That man will definitely knows about street fights too. And this triple threat match might as well be a street fight. Oh, Luis Valander though with a giant move to Daniel Morgan. Welcome to the big times. Daniel Morgan, Luis Valander says. Oh, and Luis Valander, the only man standing right now. Dr. Payne, Daniel Morgan both down. Daniel Morgan fighting to get back up, does so. Actually now joins in on the beatdown of Dr. Payne. Can't beat him, join him right now, Daniel Morgan says. Dr. Payne. Irish foot against the ropes, eats a big elbow by Daniel Morgan. Daniel Morgan now grabs this, grabs this giant clubbing-like hammer and just nails it. No, he tries to nail Dr. Payne. Dr. Payne able to reverse. Luis Valander grabs a fat ringside. That's crazy. And these men, I guess the notice qualification rules, you're desperate to win your debut match. And oh my god, weapons being used here. No disqualification. Luis Valander with a bat to Daniel Morgan. You might as well just call this a street fight. The weapons these men are using right now, Luis Valander, Daniel Morgan. And these men, they're giving you something I didn't think we were going to see. I thought we were going to see a classic triple threat match. But no, we're seeing a straight out hardcore ball right here between these athletes. You never know what you're going to get here in Honest Peter Wrestling. Louise Valander, Daniel Morgan, Dr. Payne. Don't forget, we still got the North American Championship, our main event tonight. Robert Master Monaco, Extreme Tony. That's going to be a big one. We also got Biff Andreas, Tyler King. Sons of Liberty, they ride again as they take on Egypt to go in non-title action. As Dr. Payne picks up Daniel Morgan, nice gut buster right there. Speaking of gut busters, it was Billy Bowers' gut buster, that giant powerful, that, 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 that rainy knee he calls that, that, that rainy knee, he's killing it. I can't remember what he calls it. I'm sorry, but that, 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 that rainy, that rainy brain, just that rainy, terrible knee. He caught Joe Omega with Joe Omega trying to find Raven Death almost two and one in that handicap match by himself. Don't know why Norma Storm Daly did not take the tag there. Almost tagged in Joe Omega. Almost like he didn't want to compete in that matchup. Dr. Payne. Big knee, Louise Valander right there. Daniel Morgan now going for a Fijiwar armbar. And a man, like I said, knows his wrestling holds now. Daniel Morgan, former ITF heavyweight champion. As it won no major championships, ITF was a training facility for CAWs, for young CAWs to grow. Daniel Morgan was at that place for a couple years. Team heavyweight champion there. Also tag team champion. We see Daniel Morgan compete also in North American League Wrestling for a short while. We haven't seen Dr. Payne or Louise Valander compete in a, in a major CAW organization in a very long time. Louise Valander never until now making his prime time debut. Dr. Payne Hasn't made an appearance in CAW in years, I'm sure. Had a, had a one-off in a battle royal. Louis Valander, a spine buster on a Dr. Payne. Oh, Daniel Morgan breaks it up just before he gets a three. Nice move by Louise Valander. Almost wins the match against Dr. Payne right there. Daniel Morgan, giant DDT onto Dr. Payne. 
I believe Dr. Payne is actually bleeding from that DDT. Louise Valander trying to steal it now. I don't think that's going to happen with Daniel Morgan standing right there. Daniel Morgan with a giant shot. Daniel Morgan now has Louise Valander up and slams him right down.
They have a big match now against Tyler King and Biff Andreas. Silver Prince on the left, Amir Barnes on the right. Amir Barnes is a former New WWE Universal Heavyweight Champion. Silver Prince is a former ITF Television Champion in his own right. Both men together are the Undisputed Tag Team Champions and Undisputed Wrestling. Silver Prince paying homage to one of his heroes growing up, Silver King. Biff Andreas, Silver Prince, the two legal men to start this matchup. Nice cutter right away by Andreas. And Silver Prince fighting back against Biff Andreas. One match left to the main event, the North American Championship between Robert Master Monaco, the man who defeated Chris Snyder at UW2. The man who watched his sister at UW3 win the Women's Championship. Looks to keep on the winning ways for his family, he says tonight, when he takes on the playmaker, Extreme Tony. Extreme Tony lost against Joe Omega at UW2 for the World Heavyweight Championship. Would, would go on to win last week in a battle royal. That's going to be a hell of a main event. Biff Andreas, Amir Barnes. Two legal men now in this matchup. I want to give this match as much attention as I give that main event. But man, that's a hell of a main event. Amir Barnes taking down Biff Andreas here. Biff Andreas, Tyler King, both good friends of mine in CAW for a very long time. Biff Andreas, probably my closest friend in CAW. We got a few Adopted him into the bloodline me and Zack Star has. That's how close me and Pip Andreas are. Tyler King and Mirror Barnes. This is great. Tyler King and Mirror Barnes. What the hell has this ever happened? Tyler King and Mirror Barnes in the ring right now. This is a great this is a great opportunity to see some great action that we probably have never seen before. And I thought maybe we'd never get to see Tyler King and Mirror Barnes. Oh Amir Barnes came right into the started like popping on the CAWC when Tyler King had left. Almost, almost like a dream match right here happening right before our eyes on Undisputed Wrestling 4. Amir Barnes tagging in Silver Prince, Silver Prince, Tyler King. Two legal men now. These two have actually been in an organization together before. So these two probably know each other somewhat very well. If they, even have, if they haven't competed many times before, they at least were backstage before. That's how long Silver Prince has been around in CAW. He just hasn't got a chance to be on the mainstream until recently. And look at look what's happened. He's now the honest tag team champion of the world. And he has a hell of a partner in Amir Barnes in doing so. Tyler King has five victories in Honest Peter Wrestling. I mean four I, I mean four victories in Honest Peter Wrestling. And one loss, which wasn't even a pinfall or a submission loss. Was, was defeated in that triple threat match to lose a championship which he wasn't even pinned or submitted in. <coughs> Tyler King with a jawbreaker right there. Goes for some kind of maneuver but Silver Prince breaks the eye and do what you need. And Silver Prince will do what it takes to win a match. Him and Amir Barnes both. Tyler King though, nice shoulder breaker on a Silver Prince. The tag team of Biff Andreas and Silver Prince, or, and Biff Andreas and Tyler King. Sons of Liberty, King's Plunge. One, two. Silver Prince kicks out of the King's Plunge at two. And that was a very deep two count. Silver Prince now somehow fighting out of it. Silver Prince crucifying Tyler King here. Tyler King able to fight out of it. And that would have hurt Tyler King. Definitely, if he did not fight out of that, Silver Prince was looking to slam King hard down to the mat right there. You can guarantee that. King now tags in Biff Andreas, Sons of Liberty. Making quick tags here. Silver Prince though tagging in Amir. Amir hops the fire coming in the match. Knocks down Andreas. Amir now knocks down King. Amir gets reversed right there by Andreas though. Andreas now. Irish women Amir Barnes on the rope. And he catches him with a giant forearm. Biff Andreas. Stomping away now at Amir Barnes. And Amir Barnes sweeping the leg of a Biff. And I've actually known Biff, and Amir Barnes is one of the favorite opponents he's ever been in the ring with. 
He says Amir Barnes brings out the best in him. The rabbit, the rabidness of Amir Barnes. It's what it's something like you never get up any other opponent, he says. Griff Andreas has gone on record and says and have said that about Amir Barnes. So these two know each other well. Biff Andreas, sunset flip. Amir Barnes tries to roll out of it. Biff Andreas wasn't able to hold on to a cover there. Very smart. Biff Andreas though nails his signature year and now you. I've seen Biff Andreas win championships with that very maneuver. Andreas only has a two count against Amir though in this match with that very maneuver. Andreas going for a basement drop kick. Amir rolls out of the way. Must have sensed it coming. Amir Barnes, nice uppercut now. Nailed Biff Andreas. Tags in Silver Prince. Biff Andreas still down. Silver Prince. Iris whips Andreas as soon as he gets up to his ring and goddamn a hip toss by. Silver Prince nailing Biff Andreas down on the ring map once again. This could very well be it. Gets two. Stealing one from Connor James there. Goddamn a hip toss. And that was goddamn a hip toss. That was impressive. He slammed Andreas down. I heard the impact here from, from, from right where I was sitting. Silver Prince now stomping away on Andreas right there. And that was a legal shot. I did see where that, that kick landed, and that was right in the rib cage. A very targeted shot by Silver Prince. On to Andreas here. Andreas and Amir Barnes are the tag team champions for a reason. Oh my god, and what a move by Silver Prince. Stacks up Andreas and then stuns him down with a huge move. This very well could be it. One, two. Oh, and only gets two in his tag team matchup. And that was a great move. That was a great move. Andreas now in a bad way, somehow fights out of it though. Andreas, Silver Prince, both guys jockeying for position. Andreas nails a cutter out of nowhere. Big move on Silver Prince. Andreas needs a tag and he gets the tiger team. As soon as he knocked down Prince, he made the tag. Very smart. And I just noticed we have a Silver Prince. We have Tyler King. I've commentated Chantel Queen earlier. We, do we have a Jack somewhere on the roster? And I don't know what Silver Prince is going for, but Tyler King does not allow him to nail it again. Going for like some kind of crucifix bomb. Some kind of just giant crucifix bomb. And wouldn't and, and Tyler King fought out of it twice. The second time, King did not get the advantage. I think maybe Silver Prince is expecting it, knocking him right down the ring mat. Big clothesline by King. What's King got planned here for Silver Prince? Oh my god! Flying plunge on a top rope! That was impressive right in front of us! But wait a second. Look who's right there, Amir Barnes, oh my god! Amir Barnes just turned Tyler King inside out. Now we're going to Amir Barnes, Tyler King one on one match. Tyler King back up to his feet, close lines Amir Barnes down. Amir Barnes down, uh, down on the ground. Tyler King, Silver Prince, the two legal men still in this matchup. King tosses Prince back in the ring. Wait a second, Amir Barnes tries to get his hands on King, but he doesn't do so. Silver Prince on his knees right now. No playing possum, the Silver Prince was. The Silver Prince now with an abdominal stretch rolled himself right into an abdominal stretch. Silver Prince, oh, but goddamn, a hit toss by Tyler King got himself out of that one. Tyler King now. Could be looking to crown Silver Prince. Has him up on his shoulders. Can we look at the crown him? This is his finishing maneuver. He crowns Silver Prince. He does. Biff Andreas says, This is it. Count on referee. Amir Barnes is worried. He's getting in the ring. And he breaks up the cover in time. Andreas trying to cut him off. That definitely would have been it, I believe. Tyler King had crowned him. Oh, what a move by him. Amir Barnes and Andreas right there. And Silver Prince, oh my god, leg, leg lacing. Tyler King right there. Tyler King double leg takedown though. Both these men just getting nasty with each other in this tag team match. Oh, nasty stiff uppercut by Silver Prince. King though, grabbing Prince. King now, as Prince in a compromising position on the top rope. 
Prince though fights out of it. Big kick right to the jaw. Double axe handle. Prince nails it. And Silver Prince, man, you know, you don't see much out of him other than old school wrestling. I kinda, I kinda dig that. I gotta say, I, I really kinda dig that out of Silver Prince. Trained in the ITF facility. And you can you can tell. Definitely trained in the ITF facility. Tyler King. Shot to the shot, shot to the uh Nether regions, I told you this match is getting definitely personal. The referee, I think, just let anything happen right now between these two teams. Shouldn't be, a, shouldn't be allowing it like that, but I think he is. Biff Andreas now calling for the end here. Can we look for the way of the future? And uh, we've already seen Silver Prince get crowned now. This is the way of the future. Sons of Liberty looking for a huge win in this tag team matchup. Nails it. Prince just got nailed with the way of the future. Covered by Andreas, Amir Barnes breaks it up though. And they got that rabid beast, Amir Barnes to deal with any time they go for a cover on Prince. And that's, the, and that's what makes Amir Barnes and Prince a great tag team. Is that they always are watching each other's backs. Prince though is eating a lot of punishment. He needs to get a tag into, into Amir Barnes here though. Andreas now. Up. Prince looking for that Uranagi now. Signature Uranagi throwing him right down. He says, This is it. What? Ben, ben Mir Barnes breaks it up once again. Like I said, it's very hard to get past the Mir Barnes. The man's like a rabbit pit bull in that ring. Tyler King hit tosses him right through the match. Silver Prince clothesline Andreas right to the outside. Andreas does a nasty spill to the outside. Silver Prince now on the ropes. Oh, and he almost got, almost got caught up with the ropes. But a suicide dive by Silver Prince. Silver Prince now, oh my God, makes Andreas eat the ring post. Makes Andreas eat the ring post. That LED board, that ring post, a neck breaker. Both men down and tired out in this matchup. Prince has taken so much punishment. Andreas in the last 30 seconds is taking so much punishment now, including going headfirst into the ring post. Silver Prince, Griff Andreas, just nasty open hand shots by Prince. Prince gets the tag to Amir. Andreas rolls in the ring. Amir Andreas, the two legal men in this matchup. And Andreas tries to, go, tries to uh, slam Amir, but Amir fights out of it, nails the DET on uh, Biff Andreas. Amir Barnes is very fresh in this matchup. Andreas just had his head ran into a steel ring post a few seconds ago. T-Bone suplex, capture suplex by Amir Barnes. Try driving Andreas on his neck first into the ring mat. This could be it. One, two, three, and Amir Barnes the fresh Amir Barnes comes in and picks up a huge, huge, huge impact maneuver on Biff Andreas after Biff, Biff was just tossed to the steel rings post by Silver Prince. And Egyptico shows why, even in non-title action, why they are the tag team champions of the world. As you can see right here, look at Biff Andreas' neck. Bam! Oh my God, falls right on his neck. And it might have not been for the belts, but if it was, they'd still be the tag team champions. Amir Barnes, Silver Prince, Egyptico, the undisputed tag team champions, win another tag team match here tonight. Time North American Championship is on the line. One fall to a finish. Here he comes down to the ring right now, the playmaker Extreme Tony. As you can see, that crowd is on their feet for the main event. North American Championship. Undisputed Wrestling, the Undisputed North American Championship, currently held by Robert Master Monaco, a man who 
was victorious at UW2 over Chris Snyder to win the North American Championship. And his first defense here against Extreme Tony. Extreme Tony overcame five other men in a battle royal to become the number one contender here tonight. How fitting is it that Extreme Tony won a battle royal to become the number one contender to Robert Master Monaco's title, and then his girlfriend just earlier tonight, Tammy, won a battle royal to become the number one contender to Robert Master Monaco's sister's women's championship, Gail Anderson's title. It's just a lot going on here in Honest Minute Wrestling. And man, this Extreme Tony Robert Master Monaco feud is definitely a good one. It seems, like, it seems like it's getting a little personal between the families. As here comes the North American champion right now, Robert Master Monaco. Some would call him Monster Messiah. He is the North American champion. Rightfully earning it over a over a very game Chris Snyder. The man, Robert Master Monaco, is on one hell of a winning spree here in Undisputed Wrestling and our prior league in AEW. Was the was the Maple Leaf champion right before that, picking up impressive wins over the likes of Evan O'Shea. Robert Master Monaco has had quite a year here in 2021. From San Diego, California, 225 pounds, the playmaker, Extreme Tony. From parts unknown, weighing in at unknown, the North American champion of Undisputed Wrestling, Robert Master Monaco, Monster Messiah. Here we go, Robert Master Monaco, handing the referee that North American championship for the very first time since he's won it. He has taken his hands off the belt. That's what we've been told. This man has, has literally coveted that championship other than when he's been forced to take that belt off the ring uh, off for some for some location and I would hate to be the man that had to ask that guy to get, to get that belt off because he is a monster extreme Tony though the playmaker trying to make some plays quickly in this matchup against Monster Messiah tossing him right to the outside of the ring saying this is his yard but I don't think you want to piss off a man like Robert Master Monaco off this man has been known to be a monster I've seen this man stalk a guy named Alex Snow for a very long time just because he pissed him off in a match. Yes, that's true. Alex Snow, a great CAW legend. Shout out to Alex Snow. Robert Master Monaco, Extreme Tony. Monaco on the outside of the ring right there. Working over Extreme Tony on the outside of the ring still is Robert Master Monaco. Side of the ring. Both men getting back in the ring now. Extreme Tony Monster Messiah, North American Championship, Undisputed Wrestling 4's main event. You should be watching live on twitch.tv slash Danny Jackpot CAW. Join us on the Discord if you're not part of the Discord. That's where most of the roster hangs out. If you want to catch up with any of the roster. Extreme Tony, big kick to Monster Messiah, North American Championship. Extreme Tony, no stranger to winning championships here in CAW. Monster Messiah with a big power bomb on to Extreme Tony, though. Robert Master 
go. Clubbing axe handle right to the back of Tony. Extreme Tony wearing that black and green here tonight. They've only seen him wear a few times. Oh, and Monster Messiah picking up the small 225 pound Tony and power bombing him right there. And my Robert Master Monaco is not the most bigger, biggest man himself, but definitely has the power against Tony, I would say. Extreme Tony has a lot of power too. It's a, it's a power, it's a, it's a battle of two short powerhouses. Extreme Tony, Monster Messiah. Monster Messiah now after those giant shots to the rim cage. Going for a cover on Tony, only gets two. Robert Master Monaco, only getting two on Extreme Tony. But looking very good in this matchup. Big back suplex now. This match, almost all Robert Master Monaco so far. Robert Master Monaco now. Irish Whipping Extreme Tony to the outside of the ring. North American Championship on the line. North, if Robert Master Monaco was to lose the belt, he could only lose it by count out or submission, I mean by pinball or submission. A count out would not lose him the championship here. Very smart to fight on the outside of the ring until that happens to you. Extreme Tony nails a hell of a spine buster. Extreme Tony now. Another spine buster onto Robert Master Monaco on the outside of the ring. Master Monaco getting picked up by Tony. Tony telling him to get back in the ring. Robert does so, obliges. These men are just fighting. Big drop kick. And a big match situation. You're going to see things you don't normally see. I don't think you normally see a drop kick out of him, but you've seen it tonight. I'm being told that Robert Rat Master Monaco has been working on a weight loss plan, which I'm very proud of him for. He says that he is looking to become the best shape of his life. He was weighing at 330 pounds, tipping the scales earlier this year. Weighing in now at less than 300 and 318 pounds, weighing in at 316 pounds and a quarter pound. Robert Master Monaco, what's he gonna do to Extreme Tony? Oh my God, no! Beside me at this at Spanish announce table. Oh my god. Uh, if Extreme Tony is going to be able to fight back, I don't even know. The Monster Messiah, Robert Master Monaco, proving why he's living up to that nickname, The Monster. Look how this man wrestles. Oh my god. Monster Messiah. Robert Master Monaco taking the fight to XT. Referee's counting at seven. If XT gets counted out, he would lose this match. Monster Messiah would retain his belt. Messiah looking to do so. Referee's counting at nine. XT barely gets back in the ring in time. The referee was just about to raise his hand at ten. Oh, but Master Monaco now. Snap Marion now headbutting Extreme Tony. XT is in a bad way in this North American Championship match. This is the main event of UW4. And it looks like a fan might have tossed his hat into the ring there. And Monster Messiah now. We know Tony could have had a red broken or two. And oh my god, what a headbutt right to the sternum. Almost like right to the heart of XT. Trying to stop his heart. Covering up by Monster Messiah NXT, and he gets the three. Monster Messiah defeats XT here tonight. Robert Master Monaco, still the North American champion. Only time can tell who his next opponent will be. Monster Messiah, as you can see in the replays, he just, he just delivered just punishment to Extreme Tony's ribs. His torsos could have broke his back with this very maneuver. Oh my God! Extreme Tony's spine driven into that 
monitor. Robert Master Monaco. Just a monster here against XT here tonight. And XT could not get anything going against Monster Messiah, Robert Master Monaco. And that is why, my monster, sometimes when you when, when you, you don't want to be in his range of destruction. Still the North American champion. This man is on a roll. Looking to put everyone on notice is Robert Master Monaco. As I thank you all for watching. UW4, Danny Jackpot, wishing you all a good fight.